what if there was a single value that you could increase that would greatly improve the compatibility of badly developed Windows software, along with a couple of edge case Linux applications, where doing so has basically zero downside and takes about 10 seconds to change. Should that value be changed? Now, most rational people are probably going to say, yeah, go and change the value. And finally, distros are catching up and actually fixing the problem. The latest one being Arch Linux, increasing the default vm.maxmapcount value. This will be increasing the value from the default of 65,530 to 1,048,576. This might seem like a completely random number, but this is the number of bytes in a mebibyte, which is different from a megabyte, but nowadays most people use them interchangeably. This change should help address performance, crash, or startup issues for a number of memory-intensive applications, particularly for but not limited to some Windows games played through Wine slash Steam Proton. Overall, end users should have a smoother experience out of the box with no expressed concerns about potential downsides in the related proposal on the Arch Dev public mailing list. Basically, the only downside is applications might potentially use more memory. They use potentially more memory because they didn't crash from trying to assign too much memory. Now, Arch is by no means the first or only distro making this change. Last year, I talked about the same thing being done over in Fedora Land. Around the same time, it was also being done over in NixOS, and very soon, it is going to be shipping in Ubuntu with 24.04. And if you paid really close attention, you might have noticed that all of them are using the exact same value, 1,048,576. So the other reason why this value isn't completely random is they're basically all following along with what Valve is doing on the Steam Deck. Now, it's great and all this deals with some crashes and deals with some performance issues, but what is it? actually control. What is the max map count? What is a map? Now this is going to be a very a TLDR explanation and I know for the kernel developers out there and the C developers out there you can go a lot more into this but at a high level it is the number of memory areas that an application can assign. These are known as memory maps or M maps. And as described by the kernel documentation, memory map areas are used as a side effect of calling malloc, which is memory allocation, directly by mmap, mprotect, and madvise, and also when loading shared libraries. While most applications need less than a thousand maps, certain applications, particularly malloc debuggers, may consume lots of them, up to one or two maps per allocation. The default is 65,530. So, most applications out there, if you're running GNOME, if you're running a terminal, if you're running a browser even, even browsers which are notorious for using lots and lots of memories, these are designed around the way that the default value is set. But that doesn't mean that every application is designed around that or every application is even possible with that default value. Now, the most notable group of problematic applications are video games. If you played a game on Linux, you probably didn't notice any problem whatsoever. Most games are completely fine. But there is a small subset of games, those games that like to assign lots and lots of memory that start to become a problem very quickly. The ones we know about are Hogwarts Legacy, Star Citizen, DayZ, Counter-Strike 2, and Payday 2. There are a couple of others, but those are the most notable ones. Oftentimes, these games will work with the default value, but you might see unexpected crashes, certain elements don't get loaded correctly, and just generally, the game isn't working like it should be. The same issue is also shared by certain console emulators. The ones that I know about are the PS3 emulator RPCS3, which literally will tell you in the logs that the value needs to be changed from the default. Most games are not going to work properly without that being changed. Also, there are some reports of the Switch emulator Ujinx causing issues at the default value. Also, for any of the database people out there, you've probably seen an issue like this for MongoDB. VM.maxmapcount is too low. 
This is a very common issue with databases because naturally a database is going to be trying to assign lots of memory. And especially if you have lots of people trying to access the database, yeah, it's going to become a problem very, very quickly. Now, if you wanted to change the value yourself, it wasn't very difficult. Basically, it's a single line config change. And then you reload the config or just reboot your system. Either is going to work. And then the value has changed. That's pretty much it. So it's not like this was some giant endeavor that if a user runs across this issue, it's going to take them hours upon hours to resolve. And most games with this issue and most software with this issue is pretty well documented. But even so... If a lot of random software that people use is broken with the default and more and more distros are changing the default value because the default with modern software is kind of broken, maybe the default is wrong and maybe that default should actually be changed. This issue has been brought to the attention of Upstream and I'll get back to this in just a moment, but putting pressure on Upstream is a big part of the reason why Arch, even though it is in many ways a do-it-yourself distro, a hobbyist distro, a big part of the reason why Arch is making this change and a big part of the reason why every other distro should also make this change as well. I'm wondering if this change will be considered on the Upstream side just yet. I'm afraid it'll be seen as a distribution matter, rather than a Linux kernel one currently, regarding the fact that the related issue is kinda specific for now. It's mostly an issue in playing modern Windows games with Wine or Steve at the moment. If it was one application, I would agree it's specific, but considering it's a bunch of different popular games, I think it's widespread enough to at least be possibly considered. Although I've seen similar reported issues for other regular resource intensive applications, but I could be wrong obviously. Again, things like databases. However, I think that following the tendons by implementing that change on our side as other distros already did would work toward making this a classic, eventually getting users expecting it as a de facto default as you said. If at some point every major distro are making that change on their side, I think that would be a legitimate slash reasonable reason to bring it back to Upstream's attention and ask for a revision of that value to fit current standards, in the event they do not consider it right now. It's very similar to the single click versus double click situation with KDE. Even though the Upstream developers like single click by default, every single one of them has said single click is better. If all of your downstreams are changing a value from its default to another value, and they are all matching the exact same value, maybe your default value is wrong, and you should update for modern standards. Now, you don't have to do that. You can set any default you want, but it is a lot of duplicated effort if everybody is fixing your value. Now, the email about changing the value in the kernel was sent on March 20th. At the time, there wasn't any responses. The first response was 12 days later. Now, the reason why there was no response is if you look at who it is sent to, is just sent to the mailing list. He didn't actually CC any of the relevant people or any of the other relevant lists. So basically nobody saw it. Thankfully, this helpful person here fixed the problem for them. So now we have a single response from David Hildenbrand. Using a high VMA account usually implies the application is doing something suboptimal. I have no doubt in my mind that a lot of these applications are doing something suboptimal. Having many VMAs can degrade performance of MM operations, memory map operations, and result in memory waste. It can also result in applications not crashing because they are designed in a suboptimal way. Running into VMA limits usually implies the application is not optimized, very true, and should handle things differently. Without a doubt, I am sure they definitely should. Likely the memory allocator is doing something bad and should be optimized. I don't think we should be raising the limit for everybody out there. His point is totally fair, and these applications are likely terribly written, terribly optimized, and using memory in a way that they probably shouldn't be using. Now, there are cases where you're naturally going to use a lot of memory maps, whether that be a malloc debugger, whether that be a database, whether that be trying to emulate a system that also uses a lot of memory mapping. 
But the thing is that with these games especially, and also with those cases where they naturally have to use a lot of memory maps, you're not going to get around that because with the games, they're not being developed with Linux in mind. Maybe they're being developed with the Steam Deck in mind and modifying their UI to work on the Steam Deck and modify their performance settings to work on the Steam Deck, but they're not designing around a limit implemented in the kernel for how many memory maps should be used. So the distros are just going to keep fixing this. The software is never going to get fixed because the software just doesn't care that there is a problem. And I guess the kernel is just going to have a broken value going forward into the future. It doesn't really matter because more and more distros are going to fix the value. I wouldn't be surprised to hear about OpenSUSE changing it or Gen2 changing it or anything else out there changing it because the value just doesn't really make any sense with modern software. The only case where it becomes harmful is if you actually have an application that needs to make use of that many memory maps. And when they do, yeah, other things might slow down, but the alternative to that is the application might crash because it can't assign more memory maps, so you either get slow or application crashing. And I know which one I prefer, but what about yourself? Do you even know what the value is set to on your distro? If you don't, run the command on screen, it'll be in the description down below, and have a look. It's very likely it is set to the default, but if you're on something like Fedora, you might already have the value changed. Again, if you want to change it for yourself, it is very easy to do so. I'll leave the ArchWiki linked down below. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video, and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, the Barrow Pay, linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me. And uh, I thought I changed my hotkey, but apparently I'm just dumb and clicked the wrong one. Bye.